Hola chicos, ¿cómo están? Hoy tengo el honor de entrevistar a Natalie Glegova. Hi everyone, how are you? I am here with Natalie Glegova, the one and only Miss Universe 2005. I have a couple questions for you. It's only sure. about you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Hola Camila, hola Peru. I'm so happy to be here. Thank you for coming to my beautiful country. I hope you've enjoyed it. I want to also give a shout out to Alicia Cedron, the director of the National Miss Peru Lima Este, who made all of this oh, possible. That's right. Without her, I think none of this would have happened. Exactly. <laughs> I also want to give a thanks to Play TV Peru and Hotel Britannica Cristal Collection. So thank you. Those are the small little shout outs. Okay, let's start the questionnaire. So. What do you remember most from your crowning moment at Miss Universe 2005? Hmm. From the actual moment. The when moment. The crown went on. Okay, so I actually don't remember much from the moment that the crown went on because I thought it was a dream and I thought it was, or a joke, or some surreal. kind of prank. <laughs> it felt surreal, exactly. Probably the same way that you felt when you got crowned Miss Peru. Peru. Yes, right? absolutely. At the beginning, you just don't even realize what is happening until I saw my parents who were in the audience yeah. and they came up to the stage and I saw both of them and their big smiles and my mom was crying Aww. and that's when it really sunk in and I was like, okay, this is real. <laughs> I am I'm the Miss Universe 2005. Yeah. I just won. I did that. I did that, <laughs> yes. But it felt like a dream, but a, a beautiful dream. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. And how was your whole reign during that year? It was one of the toughest years of my life and okay. also the most incredible years of my life. So okay. it was beautiful but hard. Okay. Because, of course, as Miss Universe, your life is not your own for the whole year. You're living off a schedule Correct. that it gets sent to you every day. And as, as incredible as the opportunities were and the moments that I will remember for the rest of my life, all the travels and meeting incredible people, it was tough because I was constantly jet lagged. I was lonely, far away from my family, and just really tired a lot. Yeah, those times were probably a little tough. <laughs> they were tough, but I'm so grateful for those moments because it truly made me who I am Correct. and took me to where I am today. I love that. Mm -hmm. And now, what led you to write your book? Your first book, actually. Mm -hmm. What led you to write your first book? What led me to write the book was the fact that I knew that winning does not come from winning any title, achieving anything specific, or having a certain status, or having any amount of money in your bank account. Mm -hmm. I knew that winning was from simple moments of gratitude yes. and feeling of purpose and feeling of contentment inside. I love that. And I knew that every single person in the world could feel like that. So I wanted to share that and say, hey, you might not have that life that somebody else has with a crown or somebody who has a big house or a big car, but that doesn't mean that you cannot be a winner. Exactly. So I wanted to share that with everybody. And it's in this book, this yes. new book that just came out, I Am Winning. Well, it came out in 2018. Okay. So it's been several years. I'm writing a new book, in fact. Wow. And the new book is called Temple of Love, and it will be out hopefully next year or in a year from now okay and it's uh t taking place in peru here That's amazing why I to come here. and can you tell us a little bit sure. of what it's about sure a temple of love is about journey to yourself okay it's about looking for love but ultimately finding it within yourself so, oh, it's about healing that. it's about spirituality it's about understanding who you are at your truest essence it's about forgiveness and it's also about transformation how do you transform yourself so the main character in my book, it's based loosely on my life story, but not all of it is my life. But the character goes to Peru in search of herself, and she finds a mentor, a curandera, uh -huh. a female shaman, who guides her on this journey to herself. Amazing, mm. amazing. And when would that be out? I think maybe a year and a half. I'm looking for a publisher. Okay. So, yes. Publisher? So, publishers, <laughs> yes. <And> agents. <laughs> As a judge for Miss Universe, what would you look for in a candidate? I would look for someone 
who can make me feel something because I don't know if you've heard of this famous quote by Maya Angelou mm -hmm. who said that people will forget what you said they'll forget what you did but they'll never forget how you made them feel uh -huh. so if I'm speaking to a person if they can touch my heart in a way Connect. that makes me feel something I will remember them I will fall in love with them and ultimately I think I will vote for them <laughs> I love that and actually you weren't a judge for whenever Miss Universe Katrina Gray won, but you were actually in the workshop. You did all the mm. stuff with them. Why was she? She was actually one of my favorite Miss Universes. She actually competed several times, and that was actually an inspiration yeah. as well for me. But what did you like about her? Well, Katrina Gray is a brand. Yeah. She's got such an incredible way of packaging herself because everything was thought through from the moment she started competing. Uh, from, yes. you know, from her dress to her walk to all of her styling. And she's such a fire element. Yeah. You know, I, I like to categorize contestants based on the element of nature. I For instance, that. I'm a water. I'm <laughs> earth. You're an earth. Yeah. Uh, Katriona <laughs> was definitely a fire. So she definitely played up her fire element and everything just... Connected so yeah, well. Yeah, connected. She brought all the that into that element amazing okay um how would you define your reign as miss universe 2005 in one word mm. just one word, just one word. <laughs> that's a not an easy task because i would say it's monumental okay because it was one of those monumental moments of my life that shaped and changed my entire trajectory of my life, mm -hmm. how it went forward from that mo moment forward. So it was monumental. I love that. Last question. Okay. What is a trip that you will forever hold in your heart? Trip? Yes. I think it would have to be this one. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. It would have to be Peru because I was dreaming to come to Peru since I was 16 years old. Ever since I read the book called Celestine Prophecy, which yeah. is based in Peru mm -hmm. and talked about all of these things that really opened up my journey to my own spirituality. And ever since then, I wanted to come here and experience that spiritual aspect of myself right here in Peru, going to Machu Picchu, you of went. course. I'm going. Perfect. I'm going. I was going to say, you need to go. Have you been? Of course. I've been several times and every time I go. This, like, like you're saying, the spiritualness when you get there is so incredible. Mm. You feel it the moment that you're there. Mm. And I can't wait for you to feel it. It's the energy. It's the energy. Everything about it is so... Well, apparently, yes, it's a portal. It's In the world, there are several places in the world that are portals of energy. Exactly. And I think Machu Picchu is one of them. Absolutely. So I'm really excited. And then just one more personal question. What advice would you have for me now that I'm going to be competing at the Miss Universe stage? What advice could you give me to just do my very best? What would you tell me? The piece of advice would be expect nothing but be grateful for everything. Okay. That's one of my mantras lately in my life because when you expect, you're bound to be disappointed. Yeah. But when you have that balance between knowing in your heart that you deserve that crown because you worked hard, you've done everything possible to do it, and obviously you're beautiful inside and out, and Thank you, you. you have that inner love for yourself, knowing that you deserve it, but at the same time knowing that absolutely anything can happen and you are happily going to accept any outcome. Okay. I think it's better to be pleasantly surprised than, I agree. than surprisingly disappointed. Exactly. So I, I think that. that's, let the universe give you that surprise. Okay. Don't expect it, but just enjoy the moment. Live it as if you're just living your dream already, which you are. Yes. And have fun. Okay. So. Amazing. <laughs> thank you so much. You're most welcome. That's amazing. Well, thank you so much for doing this thank quick you, little Camilla. interview. It was an honor to have you in Peru and to meet you. And thank once you. again... Thank you for coming to my beautiful country, Peru. And I just want to give one more shout out to Alicia Cedron, the director of Miss Peru Lima Este. And thanks to everybody here. Yes. And to you, I wish you best of luck Thank in you universe. so much. Thank I think you. I you do fantastically well. Thank you. That means so much. Good luck. Thank you. <laughs>